Does Superman breathe in space or hold his breath? You've probably already seen the iconic scene of Superman observing Earth from space. It's an image that has a lot to say, as it places the Man of Steel from the top of Mount Olympus to the adopted home he loves and protects, even though he knows he will never be one of us. However, every time the most casual fans look at this, the debate begins again. Does the hero hold his breath for an absurd period of time or is he simply able to breathe like that without any scientific explanation? Well, we've seen many stories in the past suggesting that Superman navigates the cosmos by doing the same thing to breathe when he's underwater. He holds his breath. This was reinforced in the miniseries Lost, when the Man of Steel was lost in outer space for years. And he only survived because he spent a lot of time holding his breath, although this took a toll on his physical and mental health. And now, in Action Comics number 1066, DC Comics finally highlights this in a very clear and direct way. In the plot, the Super Family prepares to escape Queen Brainiac's ship and this becomes especially dangerous for the reformed villain Livewire when the structure of the special vehicle begins to disintegrate upon return to Earth. Surrounded by heroes who possess Kryptonian or Superman-inherited abilities, Livewire reminds us that some of us can't hold our breath in space. Nobody responds to what the villain says, and, even if this is simply because the Super Family is cancelling the girl, everything indicates that the Supers can hold their breath for very false periods. Well, it's worth remembering that there's always some clumsy, forgotten or just plain vandal author who uses the fact that Superman doesn't need to perform human needs when that's comfortable for the writer, you see, Clark Kent doesn't need to eat food and likes have normal objects and services. It's also worth remembering that Superman No. 58, released in 1949, featured the hero speaking outside the Earth's atmosphere, no one really knows how that works. And in Action Comics No. 242, from 1958, the Man of Steel practically holds a rally in space, probably using air molecules to transport sound. Write the word Superman in the comments and I'll answer a curiosity about the character for you.